cedar, if you want to stand, that's fine. Um, but what I've, what I've worked up is a, is a tentative agenda of what I thought would be useful. Here's their seats and more seats. Any more seats? We're in the spectators gallery. No, 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 absolutely not. Please sit. Ron, there are no spectators here. They're only participants. Please sit. Yeah, we add to the agenda, and then we start. So my suggestion is that we start with, I'll show you the little bit of a family tree that I've put together. It's, and I didn't do the next generations as low, just as us. So Ayal, you're not on this tree. Not because well, not you're not important, but we knew who the <laughs> folks were. Um, and that we basically do a quick brainstorm after we look at the tree and make a list of what things we want to know. And then we can try to organize ourselves, um, either to try to gather that information now if we have it or know what we want it to get later. So we do a quick brainstorm, then we share the information based on the, um, the tree. And then we talk a little bit at the end about what information is left to find and where do we want to go from here. And so what I want to know from people is, is this good? What do you want to add to it? We've got to stick it here at some point uh, where we're going to have dessert and celebrate <laughs> <Lord's> <laughs> birthday. And we can add whatever folks want to add to this. Okay, I, I've mentioned in the emails that I've sent around that I, mean, I think this is a great idea for half of the meeting, the gathering. Yeah. Um, I thought that this had sort of started as a result of you wanting to discuss the sisters and their yeah, relationships. Exactly. And I don't want to forget that because that's too important. Then that's I what we'll start the brainstorm now. I feel that, you know, that, that we, uh, there are lots of things that I would like to know. Okay. So what you want on the what? So let's do this on first. the brainstorm of what information we want to we want. Uh -huh. Then what you're talking about is relationships. Well, yes, well, and personalities. Okay. And but that. doesn't it start from, from the time that that grandma and and grandpa got together, or where they came from, and then <clears throat> their relationship, and then it moved to the daughters, and and how they you know, I mean start from that part of it. Yeah. So we want you, you want to do I mean, family relationships. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, I, th I think we kind of a genealogy of, of how that all came to be. Yeah, I think we need to. Well, the, the research we need to do is more on the Tontac family and the Meltzer family. Right. Right. And see, you know, how that all. That's where real research. But what our conversation for today is, we want to do. We want to cover. And I'm just going to make a list. We'll stick it up, and then we'll be sure to do it. So we want to do the relationships, personalities, family relationships. And you want to do especially grandma and grandpa? Well, I think we got to start we with start them. With we got to start with them. Start, start yeah. with grandpa. Or start with anything that anybody might we, know about each of them. Well, we can start with, with your grandparents yeah. because right. we don't, I don't know anything about your grandparents yeah, I don't know at all. anything about your grandparents. Right. So that would probably be a good... I'll put the tree up. An extra. Are there certain okay. other things you want to know about people, though? Let's do that, and then we'll have a list, and then we can try to do it, and then we'll we'll, we'll start wherever you want to start. Well, let, okay, if we're going to start, let's start with your with with your grandparents and where they. I mean, were were they here in 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 the in the United States? Were they did they immigrate from Russia, Poland? I don't know. I was very stupid. As a young girl, that I didn't ask very many questions of my parents. But I do remember my grandfather, of my mother's father. He was called Grandpa Joseph Melsa. And he was a ladies' man because he 
had married three times, I think. He may have had more wives, I don't know. <laughs> because he was considered the ladies' man of that time. And he used to go to the shul at night and stay with the dead and stay with the living, too. He was always at shul. And his wives made their living with a grocery store on, I think it was Prior Street. Uh, and she had the grocery store. And in the grocery store, she had married before. She married my uncle, my grandfather, Joseph. And uh, she had three children. One was called Mackie Klein. Everybody probably remembers him. Uh, stop Mackie. one second, Aunt Sarah. I don't mean to break up your thought. She remarried after Joseph Meltzer died, right? I don't know that. Well, I was, I was trying was to figure out this. how did this Klein name come to be. She married a man named Klein. Well, that's who she was married before. Wife number three is what you told me. Yes. She said that wife was number wife three was a married three. to Klein. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and he that's was what Mackie, was. and there was Rosa, and there was Bertha. They were all Kleins? They were all Kleins. And she ran the grocery store, and I worked in the grocery store. That's how I remember them mm -hmm. so well. Let me, you can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, uh, of course, uh, your mother was born in Camden, New Jersey. Right. And I presume since you're talking about your mother's father. Right. He was then in Camden, New Jersey before he came to Atlanta. That may be, probably. Do you know why he left Philadelphia, this area, to go down to Atlanta? No. Because no. he was smart. Huh? Because my uncle <laughs> was, was smart. Yeah, Wait a minute, Mom's answering. Go ahead. Uncle Tontac was in Atlanta. And that's why they came to Atlanta. They're thinking other words. Well, right. the, that's the other side of the family. And he was <laughs> supposed to be a wealthy man, but it turned out right. he was very poor. Mm -hmm. My uncle Tom Tag. Right. As I as I remember the stories, he was supposed to have a lot of money. Now, I, that's, what that's, that's, get, that's the Tom Tag. That's, that's the Tom Tag. That's the Tom Tag. Uncle Velvel, this is I, I remember that Velvel Tontac was his Bill. name. Okay. Uncle Bill. Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Bill. Bill. Uncle, Uncle Bill. That's Uncle Bill. That's Uncle Bill. That's Uncle Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that's probably who it is. Wait, but, so wait. Yeah, but we're, let's stick let's with Grandma's stick family with first. Right. right. Do, you, do you have any idea, either of you, what her mother's name was? Grandma's mother's name was? And it would be Joseph Meltzer's first wife. No, I don't remember her at all. And <laughs> she, did she? It seems to me that in, in, Grandma used to say that, you know, she had a really uh, hard life growing up. She and that she was almost in servitude to, and I don't remember, was it to the, the Meltzer? Kaplan. To family. the Kaplan family. Coplin. That's, Coplin. Coplin, okay. Right. Who were they? They were very wealthy Jews in Atlanta. <clears throat> and my understanding is that she was sent down to Atlanta to be their housemaid. Right. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. Yeah, that's and, right. And and to take care of their children. That may and be. they were nasty. Yeah. Nasty. No, they were not nice. Now, of course, this, these Coplins were my father's relatives. Your that's father's right. too, as a matter of fact. That's right. They were not that's nice. right. They were related to the Rockins. Yes. How, how yeah. are they related to you folks? Oh, well, distant cousins. Who knows? Something. <laughs> But, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Was she was Grandma sent to Atlanta before her father? I have no clue. Uh, probably not. Do you know that, Mom? She sent to Atlanta before her father father your, came. before your grandfather. I think so. I think Mama was sent down to Atlanta when she was about ten years old.
And she said she said she was six. That I could remember. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Six. Yeah. And she said she was six when she went to it. Well, Atlanta. then she was maybe. Molly six said she was. Six. Ten or something. I have that record. Oh, six. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She was sent all by herself at the age of six? Well, age of well, five. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's a plane flight to <laughs> <years? laughs> But I think that she had a hard life in that land. Yeah. It wasn't very good. Right. And so when she, she married my father. Who was 10 years her senior, yes, right? I think I recall that she was 19 senior. when she got married. And she that was, makes sense? That's right. And she he was, was 29. And she got married. Mm -hmm. to my and you're the only one of us who, who ever got married. So what year? Uh, that yeah. Been, yeah. Um, and my father was very quiet, very um, unfriendly in a sense. <laughs> Um, he was in in a in a resources. He had them. He had the intellectual, whatever we had, well, brains. He had. My, I think my father. My mother was mostly outgoing and was an organization lady. She always helped. Uh, so and stuff. Do you know what your mother did from the time that she, because she did, did she stay with with this family from the time she was six years old till nineteen? I or? don't know what she did really. I was, that as I say, I was very stupid. I didn't ask stuff those questions. I don't know what she did before that. Before she, before she got met, married. My father. Now maybe you know Renana. I don't. I don't I, remember no. what my mother did. And I don't know whether my mother knew. Did you know? Uncle Sam? Yeah. What? So what do you know? Well, I do know. I, as far as um, your your father, you just did. You know, he died in, in uh, 1947, and I didn't meet you just, of course, until. 1951, so therefore I never met him. But you just did talk about her father and uh, talked about the fact that he had been a very politically active person. Yeah, he he was a, yeah, a socialist yeah. Zionist mm -hmm. and he also was a rather important person. He was a writer and he, I believe he, he wrote a, a, a journal and he wrote, it was a book. This was in Poland, in yeah. Vilna, in, right? In, in Vilna, not yeah. Poland. This is really in Lithuania, is it not? Vilna. I don't Depends what so minute I, you're talking about. I don't know. Huh? Okay. It went back and forth. It went back and forth. Russia, Russia, Lithuania, uh, Poland. Uh, 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 it could have been either way. <coughs> it doesn't matter. No, that's right. But in any event, he apparently, as I remember the story, he, he really was helped to escape. This You're going back really to the period after 1905. When did he come no, no, to this no. country? I thought it was yep. 1903, but... You know. No. Well, that would depend on when your mother was born. She was born in 1911 or 12, wasn't she? 11. No, I'm talking about... No. My, mother was, my mother, mother was born in 12. 12. 12. Okay, so my mother must have been born in 19, 19, 19, 10. She was born in 1910. They were 10. two years old. Okay, so, so 10. So he must have been here in 1905 or 1906. Oh, that's right. Well, that, 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 that really fits in because in 1905 there was a big, big upheaval, upheaval in Russia. There was a revolution right. of sorts. This was not the communist revolution, right. but there was mm -hmm. a big uprising in, in, in Russia. And there was a clampdown by the Russian government. And he was in hot water and he got out. Of uh, He was helped out. I, I was even told that Herzl helped him out. Oh, really? And anyway, when he came to this country, according to what I recollect from what you just said, he was pretty uh, defeated as a person. He really had his dream shattered. He was very disconsolate. And when, when, when Sarah refers him as being quiet and withdrawn and so forth, you just referred him as being rather a depressed person. Mm -hmm. Personality. Yeah. So my mother said the same thing. Right. Yours yes. Say? Yeah. He was depressed. Yeah. Depressed. Defeated. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
That, that's how so it was that's, described. That's the way, that's the way that uh, uh, it was... Uh, it came across to all of us. Yeah. So, in any event, um, uh, so I, I'm only, of course, giving this for a second and I you see know, this is just what Lucas had said, but I really, you know, I don't... Do you know how they yeah. met at all? Do you know how your parents met? I think it was prearranged. Yeah. I'm That's sure it was a prearranged. <laughs> yeah, I figured that it probably was a prearranged well, marriage, yeah. I think so, because yeah, there's ten back. years difference in their okay, ages and their output and their outlook on society and so forth. Mm -hmm. It must have been a prearranged marriage. But it lasted for forty some odd years. It lasted. Because my father and my mother never one thing they never did, they never cursed each other. They never really uh loved I don't know how we came about, frankly. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I just wonder now. There's an old country in marriage. Yeah, I, you know what? I don't know that either. Do you know what year Grandma was born? She was, she was what about eighty nine when she died, right? Right. I think that she died in nineteen eighty. And I think she was born around eighteen ninety. Well, she may have been eighty nine. She may have been just your. She she was born in definitely. She was born in eighteen ninety. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that's good to know. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I well, know so that. we she could was get born in when? Eighteen ninety. So we could possibly. And can she die in nineteen eighty? So it all depends on what was what was her birthday. Do you know? Uh, is she either eighty nine or ninety? Yes. No, I mean the the date. Her, her birthday. September seventeenth is what. Then I she was eighty nine. She would have been ninety. Yeah, wasn't, isn't, is that what you think? That's about right. She died in May, well, right? She, she, she died in May. Yeah. yeah. She was 19 when they got married. That means they got married in 1909. And Gertrude was yeah, born in 1910. Yeah, Gertrude was born in 1910. That makes That's perfect sense. That makes sense. So there, if you're going for vital statistics, you have some important dates then. Yes, because we could go to the Camden, call the Camden... You have to go, ...board of probably. statistics yeah. or whatever. They is. might have her mother's name. If they Maybe. have her birth yeah, certificate. Well, were. Mama's name was Molly Hester. Esther? 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 No, I didn't remember that. No. I never heard that. I never her heard name that was either. Molly was Esther, you think? Esther. She had a middle name. I'm not sure you'll yeah. find the records in Camden because they had a big fire there in Camden. Oh. And I, I seem to have a recollection that a lot of the records were destroyed. Did they, they have, I've looked online, they, they, we can, they, I think they have it depends records. Depends on where the fire was. Not yeah, maybe true, yeah. where you think, but yeah. the, a lot of stuff has been digitized. The Mormons might have. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That that stuff the right. Mormons kept a lot of records. That's true. But even death certificates often have parents' names on them. That's yes, right. that's true too. But I, that I we get. Yeah, but I don't think we can, I don't think in the one, in that case, I don't think her name on that death certificate of the poor parents. I don't think so. You're probably all right. But well, anyway, we could always call. She, what, do you remember what month she died in? She died, in, I believe, on May 1st. Yeah. Uh -huh. April 30th. One of the other. I wonder if died on the oh, same, it's the same. It was spring, spring and I, well, well, Trudy was pregnant with Micah. That's what I remember. But again, she was at the Jewish home. Would the Jewish home have any records of her? Oh, that's a good question. Quite possibly. Any, any records? Jewish home name. Oh, because because you, have to fill, you have to fill out certain forms when you go into the home, so certainly there would be something there. So there might be an iron record. I don't know if they have that line. Yeah. Records that line. She definitely died either on May 1st or April the 30th, one of those two mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. My mother, so happens, died also exactly at that same time of the year, a different the next year, as a matter of fact, oh. my mother died in, in 1981. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, by the way, just to take a step back, you're talking about <coughs> your father, you know, who, and you mentioned, you, uh, you, Saul, Uncle Saul, Uncle Saul, I think you mentioned that perhaps even Theodore Herzl arranged to get him out. Well, he was, he was somewhat of a prestigious individual. There was mm -hmm. a book somewhere that I ran across yes. that, that said that he actually, and this was very interesting having to do with Herzl, as a matter of fact, is that he and Vilna shared, shared a pair of shoes with 
uh, Zalman Shazar, who later became the president of Israel. Um, and I think sure. that, and the story goes, Herzl came to Vilna. And I think there was a whole issue. I think that Zalman got the shoes. But, uh, <laughs> but there was something having to do with greeting Herzl wow. in, in Vilna. So I, there's, a good, there's a likelihood that he actually did meet Herzl at some point in his so life. So that really adds a little bit yeah. of yeah. credibility. Yeah. I think in that, that same book there's a picture of him with Yitzhak Ben Svi, who in became an, another president of Israel. It's, I think I've seen that picture. And I have a recollection in the house in Greenbar Lane that you guys at one point had <coughs> this newspaper. It was. There was there's stuff that disappeared. Right? There was a newspaper. <laughs> well, he was he was a he was a publisher or a. Or, oh yeah. Uh, but there was a volume and he, he was run out. Oh, but yeah, there was a volume he, that somehow or he, another he put out. A, I think a, a a principal newspaper or something at that time for the social. Because you had right, Max right, Rosenfield trying to Martin? translate it. Huh? Because you brought and, it to and, Max Rosenfeld so like to translate. It. He was a publisher. Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I did I do that? You did. <laughs> that I remember. I remember that book. Because Max I remember was a, was a bound yeah. Max Rosenfeld was uh, a, um, uh, a a very knowledgeable in Yiddish. He translated a number of the Yiddish. He was a Shalbalachim Club uh, uh, guy who also actually was uh, help. He was associated with the Jewish Children's Functional. He was the director of the Functional for a number of years. But uh, during the uh, during the time when Gertrude was doing her Jewish stuff in Atlanta, once in a while she would call me up when she had a problem and ask me to see if I could get an authoritative kind of answer about the meaning of a word or something. And I would go to Max Rosenfeld, and Max Rosenfeld Martin, then would. Do you have any memory of seeing this volume? Would we'll pass it on. You know, it was I, a brown I, 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 I think I, I, I think I do, but I, I couldn't be, I, I cannot be sure. I, I mean, I, my memory isn't that clear on it, but I'm sure there was something there. I do remember there was something there that, that uh, was a bound volume of something. Do you know, Marvin, is any of that old stuff, is, does any of it still exist at your mother's house by any chance, do you know? I, I don't know. I have to ask Beryl. When, I, when I've asked him that, he said, for all he knows, he says it might still be there. It, it <laughs> might be. Now, there are a lot. I mean, my mother, collected, my mother collected a lot of Yiddish books. Oh, yeah. But yes, I'm not sure whether that is amongst them. Yeah. And uh, I don't know whether. Uh, I, if, don't know if, I don't know if it was. If it's there, if it's not there, I don't know if it was. You know, if it, they came across it, they, oh, no, they so donated it to the Yiddo. I don't know. We had it in our house for a while. What happened to it? I don't know, but. Uh, you just think she gave it back to Gertrude. That could be. Who knows? But I, you know, I'll, I'll go back to Beryl and ask him to see if it's there and see if he can but dig it, it up out of his. But if he, I mean, the thing is, your mother communicated with cousins in yeah. Israel. Right. Exactly. So, well, they don't have the book, I'm sure. Yeah. So, well, I'm, I'm sure yeah. there may be somewhere, some box of old letters. Oh, there we'll very have. well could be letters and, and things that, that my mother yeah. had. Yeah. Yeah. But, to, have the, but to find those things, that's going to be the, the well, trick. Job. That yeah. that would be the trick, and that's why Beryl, you know, I wish yeah. Beryl was here. He could give me be more. Incidentally, I still have the Show Electric Club is dying out, but there still are some very knowledgeable people in Yiddish, and and the, we right. have one of the things yeah. that's going on in our club. We have a group of about eight or ten people who read, and it's like a Yiddish book reading club. It still goes on to this day, where they actually select a book written in Yiddish, and they actually discuss the book. Attempt to read it. And they still do it. There's about eight or ten people who do that. And, um, and uh, there are some people in the club who have this long background, haven't gone through the workman circle schools, and really oh, had cool. really very knowledgeable on Yiddish. They, they were not as authoritative as Max Rosenfeld, because Max Rosenfeld actually did a lot of translating work for money. He really translated books, and he really had a... Uh, did, did you speak Yiddish at home? We, we spoke to Brokeney English at home. You know? Broken English. 
How could you speak broken English? It was broken. I can understand your, your father's part speaking part of it was yeah. in Yiddish and part was in English. So, so whatever language it was supposed to be, it was